Hey everybody, gonna do another episode of Franchise Mode in NHL. Toronto Maple Leafs won the Stanley Cup. Did not expect that at all. But I guess, you know, they got Austin Matthews, Morgan Riley, Anderson. I can see it happening. Let's take a look at stats for the year. Who did good, who didn't. Gonna start off with Carey Price. I don't think his stats are gonna look too good. 2.69 with a .9 not good for Carey Price. And the backup, Montoya, was just horrific. McNiven did good for the two games he played, but whatever. We need a better backup for sure. I think Montoya's one year, so yeah, he's done after this year. I'm going to pick up a different backup goaltender. Hopefully somebody who 83-84, perhaps. But yeah, Carey Price, you got to do better next year for sure. Let's take a look at defensemen. What do we got going on? Shea Weber did amazing. Point. Uh, 0.5 points per game, a little over that actually, maybe closer to 0.6. He did amazing. Honka, we got him mid-season, not too much to evaluate. Beaulieu, he did all right, definitely all right. It looks like he's going to cap out at an 86. Ah, I'd, I'd love it if that capped out at 87. I'd feel a lot better about him, especially if we have to put him on the top two pairing. Then I'd feel real good about it. Hopefully his birthday is a late one, so he can get some time to improve in the off season. If not, I suppose 86 is okay, especially for the fact that he has low potential. But I mean, defensively he is rock solid. 87-86 for defense. His senses are unbelievable. Poise, discipline, offensive awareness is great. Physical, he's not the most physical, but he can definitely handle his own. 86 strength, I like him a lot. Emelin, not too sh not too sure how much longer he's going to stick around. And then we got some younger guys like Shannon, Provenov, Sergachev. Uh, we got a lot of elite guys coming in through the system who hopefully will be able to take on that top two role and allow Bo Yu to be a top four defenseman. Oh, my bad. Gotta go to a uh, player stats. I'll do that in a sec. Montreal, let's take a look at goals four per game. 2.7, one of the highest. It was goals against that really bit us in the ass. 2.8, could have been a bit lower. I'd like it to be at around 2.5, 2.4. The power play was great. See, I don't know why we were doing so bad. Penalty kill, maybe that's it. But I mean, looking at who made it in, 81, 81. Better power play than everybody else. It was really the goals against. 5-on-5, five five, which really killed us. Again, I don't know how we did that bad, but I guess it's just one of those years. Let's take a look at forwards. Pacioretty and Galchenyuk did all right. I'd like Galchenyuk to get out of 91, just to give him a little bit of an edge. But 90 is okay. We definitely need... Hopefully, we can get a sniper in free agency to play alongside of him. Radulov just isn't cutting it. He He's a great... I mean, like, in terms of points, he's great. If we could put him on the third line as a sniper, great. I would love to do that. But as of right now, we don't have that depth. Marshan, Gallagher, Hurdle, they all did good in terms of points, but we just don't have that... We just don't have that other top line forward to play alongside Pacioretty and Galchenyuk, which really sucks. We haven't been able to get one. But I guess that's just how it goes, you know? Look at Vancouver. They never really had that top-line winger to play with the Sedins. Just how it happens. So, let's go to the draft. Hopefully gonna get a real good draft. I don't know what to expect out of it. We do have the sixth pick, but scouted players, let's take a look at who there is. In terms of exact, who do we got? We got some top six, okay, a top four, okay, that's in the first round, though. We got a few top six in the third round. I might I might pick one of them up. I might pick a Grant up, a top six defensive defenseman. Why not? And we don't have other players. We didn't get too many scouted, but that's all right. Taking a look at top fives, one, two, ah, we're going to miss out. That sucks. That's terrible. We're going to miss out on a top five. But in all reality, 
that's how it happened in the NHL. A lot of times, when you get into 5 to 10, you get good players, but not an elite. So, that, we're kind of in limbo. We're not going to get a scrub, but we're also not going to get a top 5. Unless one of them just doesn't um, make a pick for that. So, let's go pick by pick. So, a centerman, playmaker, elite. Okay. Ottawa got a two-way forward elite. A left winger. Islanders got a top... Oh, wow. Only a top nine high. Perhaps they didn't pick a top five. I'm not too sure. A top... Ugh. Not looking good for drafting. Top six forward. Pick. Okay, they got an elite. Either men. Okay, let's make the pick. Let's take a look at what we got going on here. So there is a top five defenseman. We might have to take a chance. We don't need a goalie right now. There's two goalies in the top 10. And obviously, if I'm taking a chance, I'm going to pick the top 5 defenseman over the top 10. And we don't need a playmaker. We definitely don't need a playmaker and definitely not a centerman. We got Hurdle, Eakin, um, who we got? Hudden, and we got Galchenyuk, obviously. So, it looks like it's pretty obvious what we're going to pick. We're going to pick Granto. No, no. Granato, he's from China. That's interesting. I wonder what his stats are gonna look like. We have nothing scouted, but he's the best option we got. I hope it's not a bust. Let's take a look at what we got. There we go! Woo! Oh, wow. Uh, we got a steal. The Islander, the top nine high sniper. That's terrible. A top six. Uh, medium power forward. Terrible. For a pick 3 and 4? Wow. I don't know what's up with Edmonton or New York, but we definitely got the better end of that deal. Holy shit. Well, not a deal, but just the draft luck. Wow. An elite medium defense. Oh, wow. An elite goalie. Another elite goalie. Shit. If we... Wow. Islanders and Edmonton got robbed. Looks like it's fallen off a little bit. Wow, that's crazy. Our defensive core is going to be beautiful. Holy crap. So, I want to offer a trade and try and get a third round pick to pick up that uh, top and six defenseman. Do we have... I don't think we have a second... No, we don't even have a third round pick. Should we try and... Tr do we try and swap up? Huh, I'm not too sure. You know what, I'm going to... Can I Can I just sim up a round? Yeah, sim to next round. Let's do that, and let's go up to round uh, three. And just take a look at who we have scouted. McNiven for a third... Oh, wh what? Okay. Dallas knows what I need, apparently. This draft could not go better. McNiven, an AHL starter? Hell yeah. Is that pick for this year, though? Are we in 19 or 18? Let's take a look, because I want to pick for this year. We are in 19. Perfect. I will absolutely take that trade. Beautiful trade. That worked out great. So, I guess now, sim up to you the pick. And hopefully that guy isn't taken. If not, we will have to take a chance. But a third round pick for an AHL goaltender? I'll take that any day of the week. People are still... It's a pretty deep draft. It, it, round 3, top 9 medium, a starting goaltender. Looks like it's a good draft for sure. Any grinders? Nope. Let's take a look at who we have scouted. And the top 6 defenseman is here. It might be low, but I'm going to take a chance on him. Top six, there we go. Wow. What a fucking draft. Amazing. Holy crap, this is going way better than expected. If we can get a good player at the fourth round pick, I'm going to shit myself. Let's take a look at who we have scouted. We got a, a seventh defenseman in the fifth round. I might take a chance on him. Doesn't look like we have anybody else scouted, though. Who do we have... Anybody high? No, it doesn't look like it. So, we're going to have to take a chance again. Do we want a power forward? Definitely not a sniper. We're set on defense. We don't need a defense. 
do I go with a Swedish player or a US? You know, ah, uh, you know what? I got Swedish in my blood. I'm gonna take a chance on Steen. Let's make it happen. I at least be a uh, just don't be AHL. Anything in the NHL, I'll be happy with. Let's take a look at what we got. Oh my God! <laughs> no way! Wow! A bottom six power forward. Holy shit! I can't believe this. We might. I might just go and take that seventh defenseman if he isn't taken. Oh, it might have got taken right before us. Oh, a few of them. Okay, it might be one of those that we had scouted. But let's take a look. Hopefully he hasn't been drafted yet. If he's not, I'll take a chance on him. He is. Perf uh, do we need that, though? Do we? You know what? Let me go back. Let me call a timeout. Get some more time on the clock. And let's go to offer trade. Let's take a look at what we have for defensemen now. What a fucking draft. What a defensive core we're building up. I don't know if the guy we just drafted is going to be there. He will, Grant. Oh my god, look at this. Wow. We got one, two, three, four elite defensemen. Two of them low and two of them uh, medium. And then we got a top four, another top four, another top four. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're not, I'm not drafting another defenseman. We even have some depth down here. Two uh, top seven, uh, seventh defenseman low. We even have two top six medium defensemen. Holy shit. I think it's time to, to trade Shea Weber. Emmeline, I could do with you to, to uh, for a little bit of depth. Nikita not happy at all, but that's okay. We He's gone after this year. Emelin, for the next year, I think I will keep him. He has a good contract, doesn't he? 2.4. Let's take a look at overall, what we got coming up. Let's exclude Shea Weber. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, we are good for next year. I can't believe that. Sergachev might also be ready to play. Wow. What a young core we got going up. Uh, let's take a look at forwards. Do we need a left winger? Of uh, the future, who do we have? We got a top nine, a top six, a top nine, a bottom six. Yeah, we're, we're good for left wingers. What about right wingers? We got a uh, top six medium, a top... Holy shit, we are, we are loaded. Absolutely stacked. Fenomen, we even got a few of them, so I don't even know what to pick. I think we we're gonna win a cup. We're gonna win another cup by the end of this series, guaranteed. I am not stopping this series until I can witness uh, those players get um grow. Players drafted. Wait, what? Steen? I didn't draft. Oh, I did. La did I draft him last year? Or not last year? Last round. That's interesting. Okay. Make the pick though. Wait, what is that? Players drafted. What is that? I, I don't know what that means. Let me know if you know what that means. But I'm going to go to make pick. I don't know. I guess we could... Oh, yeah. We'll round later. What am I talking about? We got... Huh. So we got a power forward. I don't want a power forward, though. I really don't. There's not much to go off of. Um... Yeah, the, there's no depth. Any grinders at all? Any grinders? There's a grinder in the 5th and 6th round. I'm gonna take a shot at him. He might not turn out to be anything special. Yeah, he's not. That's okay. Uh, let them to use the pick again. I'm gonna do the whole draft for, the, for this episode, so I, I'm gonna make every pick. Right now, we're just looking for a gem. If we can get a top 9, I'll be happy with it. This time, two-way forward, perfect. I'm gonna take a... I'm gonna take a... I'll just take the top one. I'll take a Canadian. Yeah, no, no, no. Let's take a right wing. Let's take the Russian. That might be a mistake. AHL, ah, whatever. Let's see uh, what we missed out on. Yeah, all, all uh, AHL players. Well, what's not the worst draft? I mean, we got steals. I'm not... Don't get me wrong, I am not mad whatsoever. Players drafted. That didn't we draft an elite? 
I don't get what that's about, but um, nonetheless, make the pick. Take a look at what we got to work with. Unknown potential. Ugh, that's not good. Let's just take the uh, United States. Can we get a steal? And we can't. That's okay. So, I don't know. Why isn't it showing the elite we drafted? Yeah, we got in the... So we got, just to uh, recap, we got an elite offensive defenseman in the second... We didn't get a second round. In the third round, however, we got a top six defenseman. And then in the fourth round, we got a steal. Oh, no. Where's the... Okay, so yeah, a seventh defenseman. Oh, no. I'm looking at the wrong... Yeah, there we go. For some reason, I was looking at Detroit. We got a bottom six. And then in the fifth round is where it kind of fell off, did it not? Yeah, then it fell off. That's okay. Sim options, just a uh, sim entire draft now. What a fucking draft that was. That was unbelievable. A huge steal at number six. And I was going off about how we might get a bust because we're in the limbo period. But simulate up to resign stage, we're definitely going to have to get rid of Shea Weber. Definitely, because in the future, we're going to have to sign all of those youngins. Wow, that's gonna that's gonna be tough to manage all of those players. Let's go to contracts real quick. I'll do this in the next episode, however. Let's just take a look. We got 30 million of cap space. Holy shit. 30 mil of cap space. Who do we gotta sign though? Are we gonna have enough? So we got Marshan. We got Patchuretti, Radulov, Bo Yu. Anybody else? Uh, Mir, Shannon, Gelchenyuk. Yeah, we're gonna have enough though. 30 million is gonna be plenty. And, you know, I don't know if. Can you make trades right now? If we can. I mean, we got Shea Weber to unload. 7 million, 8 million. That's gonna be a trade for next season. Um, yeah, definitely. Trade him to a contending team. Let our young guys play. Look at this defensive core though. I mean, just look at the. Medium elite, medium elite, low elite, low elite, medium top four, medium top four, low top four. Actually, don't include Bulio. He's already 26. A medium top six and a medium top six. All of them 23 years or younger. Honka, already a, a solid uh, top uh, top six player. Uh, uh, he's top six. Oh, no, he's top four. What am I talking about? Right now, he's top six. Uh, Shannon as well. A 19-year-old, though. Another 19-year-old. We are totally set for the future. I am more than happy with this draft. What an awesome...